All right, right, kill the noise. Let's have quiet, please. Roll them. And action. Shooting a movie. Get down. Get down. Cut, cut. What is this? Who is that? Just move it. We've cut. It's a little too late to be careful, sir. I'm sorry. I just. What's going on? You want something to get the, the security guards? Find out who let this I man out. I can't tell Would you. Would you mind? Very much, sir. We're making this disturbance. I really can't tell you. My name is Colombo. I'm from the police. Uh. Lieutenant, do you happen to know your IQ? Mine, sir? Oh, no, sir. No, they took it in the Army, but they never told us. I'm certainly not in your league, sir. Oh, you might astonish yourself. Where is the, uh... Oh, there's the door. Lieutenant, where do you think he got the costume? Well, uh... Funny you should mention that, sir. Uh, I've been asking myself that same question all day. There's a couple of odd things about it. Uh, the, uh, neither the Parker nor the ski mask had any markings on them. No way to trace them. And they would cut the ribbons anyway. Um, uh, you certainly locked yourself in here, sir, and very smart to do it, too. Oh, here we are. No, that doesn't work either. You think he mutilated the disguise because he was afraid someone might recognize it? Uh, exactly, sir. Boy, do you and I think the same way. It's amazing. Isn't it? I wonder, sir, uh, is there a trick to unlocking this door, sir? I can't seem to manage it. I want you to relax. Tilt your head back. Wh wh what are you going to do? Just give your neck a little adjustment. What do you mean by adjustment? Don't worry, Lieutenant. It won't hurt at all. I'll tell you, Sam. I don't think it hurts anymore. It won't hurt at all. Sam, it already doesn't hurt at all. Relax. Relax. Yeah. I can see how that could be possible. You can, sir. Well, maybe you can explain it to me. I mean, how could a man make a mistake like that? I don't even understand why Victorio would want to kill you. Can you think of a reason? Of course not. <laughs> You're perfectly right. The whole idea is ridiculous. Well, it was my idea. But I'll think of better ones. How did the poison get into the wine? That's the question. But don't worry about it, sir. I'm going to write that out on a card. And I'm going to paste it up on my shaving mirror. And that's all I'm going to think about. You're very tall, sir. For a psychologist? Or for someone whose dog's just killed his best friend? It was just a general observation, sir. You're an acute observer, Lieutenant. Good morning, ma'am. Lieutenant Colombo, homicide. And you're Miss Freestone? Yes, Lieutenant. No disrespect intended, ma'am. But that's where Mr. McAndrews was lying. Just like that. When he was shot, that is. 
there any way I can be of help, Lieutenant? I don't believe so, ma'am. Nice of you to offer. We think it's a whiplash. The doctors are making tests. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I meant, is there any way I can help you with your investigation? Lieutenant, you forgot your fortune cookie. To tell you the truth, ma'am, I could use some good news. Cheer up. There is more than one fish in the sea. That's the kind I always get. Once, I would like it to say I'm going to be rich and go away on a long trip. Just once. <laughs> Good afternoon, Lieutenant Lucerne. I suppose you came here for a confession. Well, you're not going to get it, sir. Uh, because uh, you, you don't have the facts, sir. Wait a minute. Oh, you're going to love it. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, Jack, hey. I don't know why you started laughing. Here. <laughs> Good afternoon, Lieutenant Lucerne. I suppose you came here for a confession. Well, you're not going to get it, sir. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just silly, sir, but that machine, that is really fantastic. Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry to have gotten you up so early on a Sunday morning. But you see, we got a call early, early, early. I'm sorry, ma'am, forgive me. Oh, no, not at all. Allergy. Just one more thing. <laughs>